Hello, Les from Thailand here. A uh, bit of an update on my recycle method or my suggestion on how you can transfer 20,000 baht to Thailand and then recycle it, send it back to your home country and then use that constantly to show that you have 65,000 baht coming into your account. Well, I've done further research and I've found a much, much cheaper way of doing it. Uh, my last video, I showed you a way of doing it through Western Union and also Bangkok Bank at a quite a substantial cost, monthly cost, but it was doable and it, it's in comparison to using an agent where you can show that the monthly income that you've got every month and you don't have to have 800,000 baht into an account. Well the way I've discovered or the, the, um, the account that I'll tell you later on what to use that equates to about 25 pounds per month taking into consideration how much you'd lose for transferring the initial 20,000 back from England to Thailand then sending it back to England again it works out about 25 pounds a month in no agent totally legal everything is over and above board news and Thai um, the Thai system so yeah totally legal but one or two questions I've been asked why I don't I put the 800,000 baht and save all of this carry on, carry on and unnecessary moving of money around. Just a quick math. I love maths. I love figures. I love what you can do with them. And this goes to show one of the biggest reasons why I suggest that you don't use the 800,000 baht method because you would lose so, so much money. At present, Brexit is causing a big he headache to all those Brits. So, but Brexit isn't going to last forever. So using today's rate at 800,000 baht put into a bank account in Thailand, that would cost you £20,309 at today's rate, 39.39. So let's say Brexit finishes October. So everything's signed, we've got the deal. So then the baht will go down against the pound. It, it, it's, it's, it's lost it's been now for 22 years and seven months. So it's only gonna go one way, it's gonna go back up, hopefully, fingers crossed. So let's say it even meets the mid-range price at 45 baht. So at 45 baht, that 20,309 pounds that you put in is now depreciated to £17,777. That means you've lost £2,532 potentially in within the next year. So what bank is going to give you that interest rate that, that £20,000 would make it £2,500 in a year? It's just never going to happen. So I would suggest doing the recycle method until the pound recovers and it, everything gets better and it's a guaranteed way of showing immigration that you've got 65,000 baht a month coming into your bank account. This bears in bear in mind this is based on the people who live on less than 65,000 baht a year uh, a month should say and that's me included I now live on 50,000 baht a month. I put it up a little bit now because of the exchange rate I used to be able to live on 45,000 baht a month but now it is 50,000 baht a month. Um, but again, I'll do another video later on with how I live on 50,000 baht a month. But the question everybody's asking, like who is the money exchange place <coughs> that does the equivalent rate of, of transfer wise? Well, it's an online service and you put an app on your telephone and you can do it exactly the same as transfer wise. You press in a few numbers and you transfer the amount back over to England. So you have to go and register, you have to go personally to the Bangkok office and sign the paperwork. Obviously this is against money laundering and things like that. But it, I went down to Bangkok and I checked it out and I asked for the figures and it's legal, it's above board, it's 100% legitimate. And they have a flat fee of 150 baht per transfer. 150 baht, yeah, that's three pound 81 pence to send 20,000 baht back over to England. And the exchange rate is very good also. 
So for instance, at today's rate, 39.30, if I brought over um, 515 pounds from England to Thailand, that's 20,000 baht. If I sent 20,000 baht back over to England, I'd get 500. So therefore you'd lose 15 pounds in exchange, <coughs> exchange rates. With all the fees of sending it over here and sending it back, it equates to about a tenner. So in total, it's 25 pounds to do that. And if you only did it every two months or something like that, then you're going to save even more money. So it's such a simplistic way of doing it. And the money company that you can go online and look and get an app, just like TransferWise, you go to Bangkok and you go and sign up. It's legal above board 100% and it's called D-Money. I get nothing from this. It's just free advice I'm trying to give everybody type thing. So if you contact D-Money online, and then fill out the paperwork and then go down to um, the Bangkok office it's a telephone call they give you a telephone call make an appointment for you to go down to the Bangkok office and sign on and then you can do money transfers through your mobile phone or your iPad or computer or whatever it's such a cheap way of doing it so I'm glad I found it I'm glad I may be able to help various people out but if you can do it if you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't like the video, leave your comments as to why. But thank you for watching. Please watch my other videos and subscribe. If you find the information helpful, please share it to as many people as you can because it's 100% legal. There's nothing illegal about it. It's your money. You have the choice how you're spending it and how where you send it. So from Les, retired and living the dream, until the next time, Bye for now.